Hello everybody. This is the uh, front porch at our house and this is not your normal video. This is kind of a, a prophetic update of uh, some things that are going on. Uh, so you've seen headlines over the past week about uh, the Baltimore, Baltimore. Bridge. Uh, what's it called? The Francis Scott Key Bridge? Yes. Anyway, it has collapsed. Well, prior to this, the night before it was March the 25th. And uh, I got an interesting text from my sister here. She sent me a text and told me about a dream. And I'm going to have her tell this dream, at least not the whole thing, but parts of it. Because for a long time, and this has been our whole lives, our whole yeah. lives, mm -hmm. uh, she has had detailed dreams. She will tell them to me. <laughs> Why? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. And then we usually, I mean, since we were little, discussions and, about them and i mean there's been stuff that's like personal that's come to pass mm -hmm. it's not fruitless it is fruitful and uh, there's things that's like just a, a while back there was one where you had a dream about a plane crashing yeah and mm -hmm. that actually happened in the northern part of the state so i mean it was all detailed stuff so god speaks to her through dreams not necessarily all the way that god speaks to me every time but this is the way God chooses to use her. But she had a dream, and I'd like for you to tell the dream and kind of tell the what's been happening lately, because it's yeah. interesting. So, actually, this whole week, I've dreamed in some form about water, ships, bridges. Like, every dream has had those three elements. And was, Sunday night, I dreamed that I was being rushed through water, heading towards the west. Like, I could see all the states, and I was being rushed through water. Sometimes it was knee-high. Sometimes I was swimming in it. And we were heading towards California. Well, when we got to California, I saw the Golden Gate Bridge, and there were young people hanging off of the bridge, hanging around the bridge, sitting on it. They were all singing worship songs, and just like they were having a good time worshiping the Lord. And the next thing I knew, there was a flood, and it washed under the bridge, washed over the bridge. And I remember being washed under it, and then I woke up. So that was the first dream this week. Then that was, I texted you on yeah. Monday night. It, it was late Monday night. I went to bed late, so I didn't even see it till much later. But yeah, yeah. I looked at my phone, and you told me what you just said, and... I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> I didn't really know what it meant at the time. Then the next morning, we all wake wake up because this thing happened at what, 3 o'clock in the morning? Um, Yeah. Three, one, two, something. One, early, early in the morning. One that morning. Midnight or later, but. Yeah, so on that was Sunday night. I had that dream. I texted him on Monday night. So on Monday night when I dreamed, I dreamed that I was on this ship out in the ocean i knew i was like more toward the gulf of the united states and it all of a sudden it crashed into a bridge and i knew when i woke up that th this was like i, I told jed because he called me he said did you hear about the baltimore bridge the ship that crashed into the baltimore bridge and i was like wait didn't i just dream that or i had to like rethink you know how you're kind of addled when you wake up mm. and so when i was telling him about it i said it was the suez canal and i was like no 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 no. and i looked it up i was like it was the panama canal and um so in that dream it was the panama canal and then we washed up on the shores of texas the texas banks and it was covered with people um but yeah that's about all of that dream so, so but, okay when you woke up you thought you remembered it being the suez, the suez canal, canal yeah which if everybody remembers last year or been not been that long ago i know i can't remember exactly last year but the crisis where the the shipping truck the shipping boats rather were Cargo. stuck yeah in the suez canal yeah and it that's how come you couldn't get a lot of stuff like toilet paper and stuff like that mm -hmm. <laughs> but i mean that that's the reason it's a shipping yeah. problem so all these dreams have to do with ships the one you were actually on a ship yeah on and, a it ship and it into crashed into a bridge yeah into a bridge and that's then she wakes up and the and Baltimore Bridge was crashed into, yeah. uh, which was just like mind blowing because I was like, I just dreamed that, but it was a different location. But I had to like bring back my mind, like where was that yeah. that, that ship crashed into? And it was 
Panama Canal, and it was a ship that crashed into a bridge in the Panama Canal. But when I woke up, I originally thought it was the Suez Canal. Somehow they're all tied together. Yeah, uh, that's the way. A lot of times, like dreams. Know. A lot of times, like I mean, you you'll be in one place, and then you know it means something yeah. else, and there's just this like there's a connection because yeah. of that. Like we already knew about the canals with the shipping thing. This crisis that just happened mm -hmm. is going to affect some parts of our trade and, and shipping yeah. and stuff. Like it's one of the main ports in the U.S. on the East Coast. You had a dream of the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. The Gate Bridge. This is the Key Bridge. Yeah. This is Francis Scott Key Bridge. And if everybody doesn't know, Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a significant meaning. If this, if this means something. Now, I know there's a lot of people around. They're saying, you know, certain things, conspiracy theories. I don't know. The only thing we know is God is speaking something about these bridges, about these waterways, waterways about our shipping, yeah. about where we get our stuff from. Yeah. So there's a lot to pray about, and you don't need to be fearful, but you need to be empowered. And we've been having some powerful prayer meetings on Wednesday nights, and uh, God's been doing some great things, and he's speaking to us in dreams. Like, I don't dream a whole lot, but lately I've been dreaming, and everybody's been dreaming. And so... uh Get your pen out next to your bed uh, mm -hmm. if you're hearing from God in that way. But this is significant, and I wanted to get this out. I feel like God is going to touch somebody to maybe get a hold of your heart, maybe realize, hey, Jesus is coming back soon. There's things going on on the earth you need to be aware of. You need to be uh, not afraid, but you need to be vigilant because the devil is as a roaring lion walking yeah. about looking who he can eat up. He's going to try and devour some people in this last day. So we don't need to be deceived. We need to be empowered and have courage from the Holy Ghost to be able to, you know, stand against the wiles of the devil. We yeah. have that authority. So when we pray, we pray against things like terror attacks. We don't know if this is a terror attack. We yeah. don't know if this actually, they're saying it's not. We don't know. We, what, yeah. Have we trusted everything, everything they told us? No. So we don't know. We don't know what this these things are. Something else could happen tomorrow. But the thing is, you just need to be aware be vigilant. Don't be don't be in a panic, but be vigilant and, and recognize the time that we're living in. And also just pray into what she dreamed. We don't even know all the meaning of it. No. Other than there is a significant stir. Yeah. Like you see this and there's a time stamp. Uh, there's just so much going on, but we're looking forward to what God wants to do in this. Like you, there was in this one dream, there was a connection to a young people yeah. worship, you so know, you, worshiping on that bridge. So, yeah. God wants to do something in this, and we're just praying that God will, if there's something bad going on, that he'll bring it to light. And if there is, you know, a redeeming thing that he wants to, we know there's loss of life, loss of life in this mm -hmm. little situation. Yeah. And we pray for everybody that, that's been on my heart. But yeah, uh, let's just believe that God will do something great. And just that's all we just want to get this out here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll wrap it up and we'll see y'all further down the road.